Hi guys! Welcome back sa aking channel. At kung bago ka lang dito at interesado ka sa mga math tutorials, math tricks, or MTAP reviewer, huwag kakalimutan mag-subscribe at pakihit naman yung ating notification bell para maging updated sa mga susunod nating videos. So this time we are going to talk about one of the famous uh, theorems in mathematics, the Pythagorean uh, theorem, which is under Mathematics 9, quarter number 3, week number 8. So this theorem is commonly called Pythagoras theorem. So what is this theorem and who is Pythagoras? Si Pythagoras ay isa sa pinaka-ancient Greek mathematician na nakapag-prove ng Pythagorean theorem. Ang husay niya, di ba? Pero maraming historian ang naniniwala na hindi si Pythagoras ang nakapag-prove but instead, isa sa kanyang mga siyate. Pero ang credit ay kay Pythagoras pa rin, di ba? So ang galing pa rin ni Pythagoras. Pythagorean theorem is a geometric relationship between the sides of a right triangle. In a right triangle, the two perpendicular sides are called the legs, kaya meron kang leg, leg, and the side opposite the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse, which is also called the longest side in a right triangle. Commonly, the sides of a right triangle are leg A, leg B, and the hypotenuse C. Pero kahit magkabaliktad yung uh, leg A and leg B, wala problema. Pwede si A mapunta kay B o kaya si B mapunta kay A. But yung C natin is usually pinaka-hypotenuse. But before we proceed, there are some topics you need to know in order to go through or understand this uh, theorem. So una, dapat alam mo yung tinatawag nating angle. So pangalawa, dapat alam mo ngayon yung siyempre triangle. So pangatlo, dapat may idea ka about squared. At pangapat, dapat may idea ka about radical or square root. So although Pythagorean theorem is a part of geometry, but there are some um, lessons in algebra na dapat alam mo tulad ng variables and solving equations. There you have it. So let us now define Pythagorean theorem. It states that the sum of the squares of the two legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Pero pinang common definition nito is that in a right triangle with legs A, B and a hypotenuse C, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Try natin ngayon itong uh, right triangle with dimensions 3, 4, and 5. Ito yung square corner, ibig sabihin meron kang right triangle. Ang gagawin natin dito, i-score natin itong 3, i-score natin yung 4, and then i-score natin yung uh, 5. Okay, so pagka i-score natin itong 3, syempre 3 by 3. So pag binila natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. So magkakalan tayo dito ng 9 uh, squares. So pag i-score naman natin yung 4, 4 by 4, magkakalan naman tayo dito ng 4 squares is equal to 16. Tapos, pag in-score naman natin yung 5, ang mahuka naman natin dito ay uh, 25. So, mapapansin mo dito, itong uh, 3 squared plus uh, 4 squared ay magiging equal ngayon kay 5 squared. Kasi, ang 9 plus 16 equals 25 and 25 is equal to 25. Diba? Very interesting. Kaya, the sum of the squares of the legs at yung pinakalegs natin is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So kaya nga kung meron tayong um, leg A, leg B, and the leg C, magiging A squared plus B squared is equal to uh, C squared. So ano yung SS na formula na to? So gagamitin natin itong formula na to kapag ka isa sa mga side ng right triangle na to ay mawala or missing. So take note that kaya nalang pwede gamitin ang Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, pwede lamang siya sa right triangle. So, halimbawa, nawawala yung C. Nawawala, hanapin natin yung C. So, makita natin, naka-squared yung C, di ba? Sa ano yung inverse ng uh, squared? Di ba, square root? So, para matanggal to ang gagawin mo lang dito kay C ay magiging the square root of A squared plus B squared. Ibig sabihan, pag nawawala yung pinaka-hypotenuse, ang gagawin natin dito, i-add natin yung sum ng A squared and B squared, tapos kunin natin yung square root. Kapag ka naman A, ang hinahanap natin, bak A squared? Okay, so ito mag-command sign ng B squared both sides Kaya magiging C squared minus B squared Then since kahanapin natin si A Ang gagawin lang dito ay square root lamang natin yung dalawa Kaya magiging the square root of C squared minus B squared Then take the positive square root because there's no negative land So similarly, pag hinahanap natin si B Magiging the square root of C squared minus A squared Kaya itong Pythagorean theorem na to ay magagamit natin 
kapag ka isa sa mga side ng right triangle na wawala, makukuha natin yon gamit ang uh, Pythagorean theorem na syempre gagamitan natin ng uh, square root. So another proof of the Pythagorean theorem is gagamit tayo ngayon ng RTST or the right triangle similarity theorem. Na ilalagay ko sa description below para makita mo yung pinaka-link natin about uh, right triangle similarity at theorem. Okay, so try natin. So given, meron tayong right triangle ABC na kung saan yung angle si natin dito is the right angle. Then, yung pinaka-legs natin dito, side A, opposite ng angle A, side small A. Uh, opposite ng angle B, side B. Dahil yung pinaka-opposite ng uh, angle C, da, side uh, C. So since kagamit tayo ng uh, RTST, ang ginawa natin dito, nag-draw tayo dito ng segment CD na altitude to the hypotenuse of AB. Yung uh, hypotenuse natin sa AB o kaya magiging uh, C. So CD is the altitude to the hypotenuse and then we are going to prove that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Okay? Gamit tayo ng two-column proof. For statement number one, syempre, consider muna natin ang okay, so we have okay, given. Next, so number two, so since ito ay altitude to the hypotenuse of the right triangle, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng two segments sa pinaka hypotenuse. Na kung saan si na nirapasat natin ngayon ng x and uh, y. So paano kaya natin re-relate kayo sa b pagdating kay x tapos pagdating ka c? So makita natin, Itong B squared is geometric mean between the segment adjacent to B and the hypotenuse. Kaya magiging X multiplied by uh, C. O kaya XC or X times C. Ganun din yung magiging A natin. Nako sa si A squared natin dito ay equal kay adjacent to A is Y multiplied by the hypotenuse natin na magiging equal kay C. Ang reason natin dito is the corollary of uh, corollary number 2 uh, of uh, RTST na kung saan natin yun sa pinakalink natin below para masundan mo ngayon yung tawag natin uh, right triangle similarity theorem pag sinabi natin uh, corollary number 2 um, B is the geometric mean between adjacent to sa segment adjacent to B with X and the hypotenuse similarly yung A natin dito is geometric mean between side adjacent, uh, segment adjacent to A is Y and the hypotenuse. So, ito yung nilalaman ng formulary number 2 of the right triangle similarity theorem. So, since gusto natin dito ipakita yung sum ng A squared and uh, B squared, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito sa dalawang equation ito, i-add mo lang. So, pag in natin, pwede magkabalik ka sa magiging A squared plus B squared. Okay. So, tapos i-add din natin yung dalawa, kaya magiging um, Y, uh, C, added by X, C. So, ang ginawa, lang, uh, ginawa lamang natin dito ay gumamit tayo ngayon ng addition property of equality. Then, ano ngayon ang napapansin mo ngayon sa pinaka-right side? Di ba para kung may C? Di ba? So, itong number, uh, itong uh, right side nito, pwede natin i-factor na kung saan ito yung uh, C natin. So, C times the quantity of Y plus X. Tapos, i-rewrite mo lang ngayon yung A squared plus B squared. So, ginamit natin dito for number 4 as factoring on the right side. Specifically, uh, common monomial factor on the right side. Next, makikita natin, itong uh, C natin ay hinati natin into two uh, segments X and Y. So, yan, pag inad mo ngayon sa X at si Y, magiging equal lamang kay C. Di ba? Nakikita mo ba yun? Kaya, yung number 5 natin dito ay pwede mong i-add X plus y is equal to c. So, ano yun ang magiging reason natin for number 5? So, magiging reason natin dyan ay uh, sa ibang libro, ginagamit to definition of betweenness. Okay, pag sinabi natin yung definition of betweenness, kapag ka yung point natin ay nasa between ng pinaka end points ng assignment, ang gagawin mo na doon, syempre, i-add mo lang ad plus uh, bd is equal to ab, o kaya naman x plus y is equal to c. So, yun yung pinaka definition of betweenness. Kaya for number 6, so since meron ka dito y plus x kaya x plus y equal lang naman dito yon. pwede mo ngayon palitan sa c ngayon ng, uh, pwede natin palitan ngayon sa y plus x ng c. Kaya magiging a squared plus b squared equal c. Itong y plus x na to equal dito kaya i-multiply din natin ng uh, c. Ibig sabihan, gumamit tayo ngayon ng uh, substitution law or law of substitution. Okay? Then, 
Ano nga yun ang napapansa sa pinaka right side? Diba C times C? Pag dinultiply natin ang C times C, equal niya kay C squared. O kaya, ganun din yung A. Pag dinultiply natin yung A times A, magiging equal kay A squared. Pag dinultiply natin ang B times B, magiging equal kay B squared. Kaya, itong uh, C times C ay equal lamang ngayon kay C squared. Kaya, for number 7, sa dark part, we can conclude that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared na ang grade sa natin dito is only multiplication. Okay? So, minultiply lamang natin ngayon yung uh, C times. So, kaya naman, ginamita lang ng pinaka exponent. So, na-prove natin ngayon yung Pythagorean theorem. Gamitin na natin ang Pythagorean theorem in finding the meeting side of a right triangle. So, makita natin for number 1, leg, spine, another leg is what, nawawala dito yung hypotenuse, pwede natin i-represent ng uh, C. So, for number 2, leg 8, hypotenuse uh, 10, pwede natin i-represent ng A or B, wala problema doon, bawa ang A ngayon ang i-represent natin. Di ba yung pinaka um, Pythagorean theorem natin dito is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Kanina, na-derive natin, nakapagkasi ang hinahanap, gamit ka lang ng square root of A squared plus Okay, B squared. So, ano ngayon value ng A? So, pwede itong maging equal kay A. Okay, ito ngayon pwede maging equal kay B. Tapos, magiging the square root of 5 squared plus 12. Okay, squared. So, pag in-square uh, in natin ngayon ang 5, magiging 25. Square natin ngayon ang 12, magiging 144. Then, add natin ang 25 and 144, magiging 169. Pag kinuha mo ngayon ang square root ng 169, So, pag binultiply mo 30 times 30, magiging 169. Kaya ang square root niya magiging equal kay 13 units. So, meaning, the hypotenuse equal to 13 units. Okay. Pagdating naman kay number 2, bawa, eto, gawin natin B. Tapos, eto yung C. Then, uh, A naman ngayon ang missing. Di ba, na-derive din natin kanina that A is equal to the square root of C squared minus okay, B squared. So, ano yung value ng C? Ang C natin ay tayo, kaya magiging the square root of 10 squared minus ang B natin ay 8 Okay, squared Then, kunin natin yung squared ng 10 Magiging 100 Then, the square of 8 is 64 Then, subtract mo lang 100 And 64 magiging 36 Then, kuhan mo lang square ng 36 So, makukuha mo ngayon That A is equal to 6 units So, matala dito Ang C natin ay equal kay 30 units So, ganun lang kadali yung Paghahanap kayo ng Raising side ng Anang right triangle So, yun ito yung example sa atin full number yung nakuha natin. Ganun pa, rin, ganun pa rin kaya mangyayari sa example number 3 dan example number 4. Siya ang nawawala kaya magiging uh, the square root of 5 squared plus uh, 10 squared. Kaya magiging uh, 5 squared natin is 25. Ang magiging 10 squared ay uh, 100. Kaya pag inad natin 25 yung 100, makuha natin ang 100 uh, kay 25. So kung ang sagot natin dito in terms of Uh, square root, yung 125 ay pwede nating ilagay sa factor ng 25 and okay, 5. Kasi yung 25 natin dito ay perfect square. So since sa perfect square to, sabihan, pwede lumabas. Okay? Kaya magiging square root ng 25, magiging 5. At yung 5 non-perfect, bawal lumabas, kaya magiging equal kay square root of 5 uh, units. Pero syempre, sabi sa inyo dati, kinakalangan ay ilagay natin dito in terms of uh, decimal. Kasi in real life naman talaga, ang mas madaling itindihan kapag ka ang length natin dito in terms of decimal. So, gamit kayo ng calculator. Kaya, gamit ng calculator, decimal equivalent is only 11.18 okay, units. Pag kinuha naman natin yung number 4, sabi pa rin na mawala dito, ganun pa rin nyo, magiging a is equal to the square root of c squared. Magiging 7.2 okay, squared minus. Okay, pagka yung like na nawawala, minus. Ha? Pagka doon, hypotenuse magiging plus. So, minus uh, the quantity of 3.4 Squared. So, pwede na mag-wata calculator. Squared mo lang ngayon ang 7.2 squared. So, squared natin ang 7.2 squared magiging 51.84. Then, after that, squared din natin ang 3.4. So, we have 11.56. So, i-minus natin ngayon ang 51.84 and 11.56. So, dito, 14 minus, di ba, baro hindi na 14 minus 6 magiging... Um, 8 Itong 8 magiging 7 minus 5 magiging 2 Tapos 51 minus 11 magiging 40.28 So that's only equivalent is 6.35 units 